Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on The Witcher 3, firing up the Blood and Wine DLC. I am excited for this. Uh, our thing right now is look for a new contract on notice boards in Velen for Envoys and Wine Boys. Uh, you can see I'm a level 29. The recommended level for this quest is 34, but this is my character that I started up after they made stashes. Uh, it's a character currently working on being 100% or as close to 100%, this will be the character that I use when we go to New Game Plus, and I will use it for the, um, whatchamacallit, the, what am I trying to say, uh, the, the Revisited, the Witcher 3 Revisited, uh, Velen and Novigrad, I guess I didn't need to leave, you can see are pretty much essentially cleared, I did all the question marks I had unlocked, um, I haven't done the DLC on this character yet, the other DLC. Uh, I still have a lot of work to do on Skellige, but I think probably by the time I finish up this little Let's Play, or the Let's Play of the DLC, I will be able to finish up all of the Skellige question marks as well as all of the Skellige quests. Um, I have been progressing minimally through the story uh, just to get up a few levels. I was 24 last night. I rush through some story elements just to get it uh but here's why i wanted to play on this character is because we, we are going to go super in depth with this uh with this playthrough but you can see i just have a hoarding stash um we can go ahead and store this stuff if i can do it quickly because we're gonna be we're gonna be um collecting as much as i can i thought i thought that was full i was like can that actually happen but you can see I have so much stuff in the uh, stash right now that you can't even, it lags when I do this. But I'll show you guys a quick glance over it. We'll store the rest of these items just to make sure we have as much weight as possible. Actually, these runes don't weigh much. We'll just keep them on me. Alright, uh, but we've got literally almost all the three socket gem swords that I've found. Um, even some two sockets, and I think I have a few one sockets. We've got, uh, the poker, we've got the blunt sword from the quest where you train, uh, that girl. Uh, we have, uh, the original, the starting witcher steel sword, the pickaxe. We have a few different armors, not a whole lot, um, haven't been too into collecting the armors at this point. We got a ton of trophies, and then here are all the runes, and then just some different stuff. Uh, I've stored as well, but mostly this is about storing weapons and stuff like that. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this DLC kicked off. We need to look for the contract on the notice boards. Uh, you guys can expect this uh, series every day at 8 o'clock. That's going to be the time slate for this series. Uh, every day, 8 o'clock, so keep that in mind. Um... It may... I, I doubt it will get moved. It will probably stay at the 8 o'clock time slot for me. 8 o'clock Eastern. I should probably specify that. Uh, 8 o'clock Eastern. This will get uh, uploaded uh, every day. It may get changed when Mirror's Edge Catalyst comes out. It Mirror's Edge might get... I like to put the premiere game, the big game on my channel at the moment... I like to put that at the 8 o'clock slot. But this game, I love The Witcher. And um, I've spent a lot of time playing the witcher i have another character that's near 100 percent on the first playthrough uh was actually the character i was finishing up when they added the stash uh so then i wanted to go back and i wanted to stash all the cool stuff that you find because why not uh but once we finish this character we will start the revisited which i will assume is going to be well over 100 episodes which would mean um, it will probably take us a year to finish because it won't probably end up being a, a daily episode every single day. Uh, so warning, whoever makes a ruckus in the Seven Cats, oh, that's not it. Witcher hand, or kitchen hand wanted, that's not going to be it. Uh, warning, that's not going to be it. Here it is. Appeal to Sir Geralt of Rivia to bridge his crest. Geralt of Rivia, at the behest of our merciful sovereign, her illustrious grace Anna Henrietta, uh, we have journeyed to the northern realms to lay before you our mission. A terrible monster has appeared in the in the Duchy of Toussaint, a great beast that has committed heinous crimes against her grace's subjects. Only the most famous among witchers has the ability to destroy this the beast. Thus, we humbly beseech you to appear in the valley of Holloway, where we shall await you in full hope that you will deign to hear of our woes and liberate our land from the clutches of fear 
your humble servants, Sirs Palmerin de Ladenfall and Milton de Peyrac Peyron, knights in the service of her grace and the duchy or duchy. Let's go ahead and take that. So now we need to meet the knights of Toussaint in Holloway. We already read that. Where is that on the map? Alright, so that's down here at the Stonecutter Settlement. So we'll go ahead and take the fast travel point down there. But I am super pumped to be back with something new in Witcher. I know this is the final the final Witcher related thing, I assume. Uh Geralt, I guess, related Witcher thing. I don't know. People are pushing for a Witcher 4, but this the game kinda ends how you know, there's not really a following up a Witcher 4. Um, but, you know, people are pushing for a Witcher 4. Uh, and I'm still hoping, you know, maybe for a remastered collection in the next couple of years uh, with the Witcher 1, Witcher 2, and Witcher 3. I've never played Witcher 1. Simply, wow, the loading times are so much better than they used to be. Holy, that is beautiful. Hopefully the audio is all good. I'll get it fixed in the next episode if it's not perfect, but I think I do have it at a good We've point. We've got no need for your help. Have no fear, good man. Our labors shall be done quickly. The prowlers to be banished for good. Milton, look. Get out. In the flesh. Hail, Witcher. Let us go inside and greet you as befits an old friend. And you, fear not. We shall put an end to the rule of outlaws soon. Found your message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin? I told you. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Peyron and Palmerin de Lanfor. Good to see you both. Been years. Be assured, we share your joy. You must forgive us our, uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Parmaron wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. <laughs> but I expect they will be deaf to this. Yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands. Ever. If they do not heed my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. Naturally, I'll help when Palmerin's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. So the plan is, is while I'm not recording this uh, particular series, I'm going to continue. These are coming. Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Let us go out to greet them. That's some nice looking armor. <laughs> he mean us. 
I, Palmerin de Lonfall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores, abandon the path of shame, and we will spare you. <laughs> Right, could jest that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off or we lose our patience and you lose something else. Nay, hey, wait, Zorg. These lads are a lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like? Or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts? <laughs> Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. Well, there's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. Some wench sent them. Folk who say we's a fear of wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the Duchess. Not good. Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the Heron you will pay with your own blood! By the crane, villains, ready your arms! Alright, time to dance. This is gonna be interesting if I do enough damage. Okay, I don't do a lot of damage, so I'm gonna have to play this well. We're not on an extremely high difficulty. If you want to see me play on a high difficulty, go watch the Death March playthrough. But this, right here at the beginning, is going to be close to that because I'm so under level. And yeah, I take a ton of damage. Alright. I don't want the shield guy. Give me this guy. I'll deal with the shield guy in a minute. Come on! Don't Oh shit, but like I was saying, um, damn it, I'm gonna have to play smarter than this, um, I will be continuing my main playthrough while I'm doing this, like, continuing the main story and all that, trying to get that completed, oh shit, I fucked up my, re I fucked up that, I fucked it up again, what am I doing, okay, come here, Blend back on. I do like all the changes they made with the update for this. Um, it actually turned out the update actually worked pretty well. I need to get over here for a second. Switch to Tawny Owl. I did not refresh my potion. Okay, so Zorg is kind of not the, but he's the main guy. He's got the nice shield. Wish there was a one-hit kill I could do. Like from behind. Should have this guy dead though. There we go. One back on. Oh, there we go. Got the one shot on him. Zord, leave me alone. I'll kill you last. Shit. Shit. Throw a lot of that. All right, we're still calling. They still call people witch fuckers, which which is funny because it's semi true in this game. You are kind of a witch fucker. All right, go ahead. My toxicity is getting full. You little dick monkey. Oh shit. I need to play smarter. Oh shit. Well, come on. Alright, I don't want to fight Shield Guy at this particular second. Let me kill this guy. There we go. Two quick kills there. Kill crossbow guy. Yeah, mash an X. I mean, if you guys don't want to block, that's fine. If you don't want to try to help your buddies out, I'll just stun lock them to death. 
I think they'd be smarter than to just let me keep doing this. There we go. Alright. Now... Oh, is it just sh it's just shield guys left? Right. Well, how long you gonna make me wait? Oh. A couple of swings in. I'll fight these guys if he wants to kill Zor for me, or just fight Zor, distract him so I can kill these guys. Oh, the double! That was. Crazy. Come here, buddy. Let me back off, not get killed here. Oh, we got more bandits coming out of the woodwork. Pathetic. No, no, no. Don't get greedy. My toxicity is pretty high, so I can't get greedy. I played greedy early. Really, I'm not used to fighting Witcher combat. Even though I came back and was playing this a decent chunk, I wasn't doing a lot of um, strategic combat because I'm not on that hard of a difficulty. I don't even actually know what difficulty I'm on. Okay, just one swing there since his buddy is over here. Let me kill that guy. Thank you. Shit, I that up. Oh well. Okay, I gotta repost him. I can't. Oh, you dick monkey! Come here. I can't believe I screwed that up once. Shit. What am I doing? My sword is almost broken. Right. I don't know why Final Preparations Quest updated. That makes no sense. Damn it. Can't get the kill. Hold on. Let's go ahead and repair my sword. I have a ton of repairs. Um Let's go with the 40%. I have a ton of these. Alright, there we go. You would think the name guy would be... You motherfuckers. Alright, the double kill. Alright, now we can all just gangbang Zord here. That's all the da you guys have been fighting Zorg this whole time. That's all the damage you could do. You're fucked, Zor. Just give it up. I don't know what just hit me. Does Zork? I want Zork's weapon if he drops something special. I need to remember it's right up there by that house. I'm gonna heal. Make sure I don't get killed by random bandit here. There we go. Why do they not emerge? It is over. We have banished the Scantrus, lifted oppression's yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits now. Sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Ugh, it is true what folk claim. In the North, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home. And we shall, my friend. Come, Geralt. It's time we delivered our message. Alright, I guess I'm not picking up Zorg's weapon. Thought he might have a nice special weapon or something, but... So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition... It is sacred in Toussaint. Alright, fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood, 
and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the Star-Cross City's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? Anna Henrietta really say all that, word for word? Well, in point of fact, she said, bring me the Witcher and dare not spare your horses. Only make certain this time he comes alone. The Ducal Chamberlain added the rest. You know how it is. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I might add, be it unofficially, that a hefty reward awaits. Yet the specifics you will need to verify with her illustrious highness. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever. And the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, the bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When her grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you. Promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Mentioned a tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived, the best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. Before an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. Anyone tried to hunt it? Knights Errant, for example? Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. An experienced tracker. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites at a feast. Of the feast-goers, none noticed this. They saw but an open window then heard desperate cries from the street below, where a corpse had just been found. The second killing, similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house, guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. No one saw, nor heard, a thing. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect, but of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. Ah, <sighs> no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Hmm, demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you, yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, as soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Toussaint. To Toussaint! Alright, to Toussaint we go. Yo, I want that for Roach. Roach would look badass with that armor. I hope they put some... Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. Okay, well now you know how far I am in the story, but um, I hope they put in with this DLC something that gives you... I don't know something to do once this is over 
something repeatable, something fun, uh, maybe repeatable Gwent tournament, something like that, to give this game some life, uh, even after you've completely beaten it and 100 percent at all the quests. Uh, I think it'd be really cool if they put just something in, maybe like an arena, uh, fight different enemies from the game, stuff like that, something to give it some extra life. But I also understand if they didn't, it would also make sense if they didn't, you know, you beat the game, you do everything you can, and, and, and that's it. We, we don't need, like, you don't need to have unlimited stuff to do, but we'll see. It'll be interesting to see if they added anything special um, near the end. Um, I'm happy they created a brand new area, unlike the first uh, DLC, where you were just essentially in the area you already had unlocked from playing the game first time so i am happy we get a completely new area at least that's what the description says uh that i read online hopefully that is correct uh, i was wrong about the loading times it was just that one that was really a whole lot faster these are still pretty long i don't know why it, it wasn't full loading bar which has me a little bit nervous about it loading had had a couple of times where it actually froze at, like it not froze, it just didn't load. And it was usually, okay, we're good. Let me shut up. Toussaint, the land of fluff and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. You would find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. Do you insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the Heron! One hell of a kickoff to the start of the oh, DLC. Leo, watch out. My sword. Oh I shit! Kill a monster. All for one, not one for all. Come on, come closer. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna semi learn these. Oh, dude, really? Just gonna knock back that. Oh, okay. This is actually kind of fun. That is this challenging. Boy, smart. Do I have a sunblock? I have a feeling that thing would one or two shot me. Kind of like that his attacks knock me back. It gives me a chance to re pop blend. Oh shit! I don't do bad damage for being like five levels under level. is all on me. Swing. This stupid guy in the blue who started all of this shit keeps knocking me away. Alright, bitch. Swing. Not, not your spin to win crap. I don't know. Did I lose my gun? I did. 
get in there. Finish him off. Maybe not. One more. There we go. What stuff does he drop? Can I loot him? I can't loot him. Big beast. Tackling it single handed? None too wise. Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. A giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien de la Tour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth, then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. Alright, so now we need to follow Milton to the place where the body was found. Uh, we will pick that up in the next episode. Let's go ahead and loot this guy. Wow, 450 crowns. Greater Red Mutagen, nice. Florence, Old Sheepkin, and Dahlia, magic item, a weapon. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. We're level 30 now. Let's see, I can't use it. It's for a level 36. Uh, 405 to 495 damage, obviously a lot better than mine. Uh, I guess real quick here, before I end this video, let me grab an achievement real quick. Should pop now. Yep, there we go. Can finally equip that crossbow. Armed and dangerous. Find and equip all the elements of one set of Witcher gear. I can actually have that equipped. I don't think the swords... Yeah, the swords aren't good enough to use, so we'll stick with what we got. Um, I'll stick with the uh, feline set until either I find something cool in the DLC, or, I don't know, maybe we'll craft something new uh, in this series. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I actually don't have a trophy on right now. Let's go ahead and put the trophy we just got on. Goliath trophy. 5% uh, bonus experience for monsters. Not one of the better trophies, but we will go ahead and equip that. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm really excited to be back playing The Witcher um, and something new. Uh, not just like a revisited playthrough. This is something new. The final act, um, I assume this will be 30, 40 parts, probably, if I'm going to go as in-depth as I hope to. Uh, that's the hope, is just to do everything fully. You can see we've got these different notice boards, we've got different stuff. This area is huge. It is a completely new area, which is, which is pretty awesome, and it's a huge area, it looks like. There are only three notice boards, I believe. No, four. Five. Wow, five. One, two, three, four... No, six. There are six notice boards. So that's nice. That means a ton of quests. Uh, this is going to be extremely fun. I hope you guys are as excited as I am to do this. Um, 
So if we do all the side quests and all of that different stuff, as much as I can possibly do for the series, I will. Uh, we'll try to 100% as much as if I can, and I'll definitely be keeping up with other people's videos and making sure that I catch and see if they find something I didn't. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if it did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all in the next part of The Witcher 3 Blood & Wine DLC playthrough. Peace out.